garlic, hand sanitizer, flop sweat. Some things don't change. Do you have my money? No. Good. So, tell us again why these blindfolds are for our safety? If this meeting goes south, the less you know, the better. Including where we are? Nope. Screw that. We agreed to come to this meeting to back you up. That means we're in all the way. No more knowing half of everything. Fine. Take off the blindfolds. Frank? Yeah, he's asleep. The target is a 20-something junk artist. He works from home. Morale has obviously taken a hit since the team found out about the bankruptcy. The fact that we're in debt to some kind of madman so dangerous that even the boss is afraid isn't helping matters either. So I decided that getting back to business might just be that kick in the pants we need. There's nothing like planning someone else's carefully calculated termination to make you forget about your own. So, any questions? Two, actually. One, is this job gonna pay enough to keep us from getting killed by this Investor X guy? Uh, well, every little bit helps, you know? Right, that's what I thought. And question two? What is she doing here? She's your partner. <laughs> partner? She's the school nurse. First off, I'm the combat medic. And secondly, I've been training in fourth stage whispering eye ninjutsu with Grandmaster Kyle Great. Chandler of- Look, I can handle this. I've been getting results alone for weeks now. It's not an option. All contracts must be carried out with a partner. New rules. Great. If you have a problem with it, you can take it up with the boss when he comes back. You mean, if he comes back. They're coming back. Right. Well, come on then. They're coming back. So? So? Think you have enough guys on today? Today I'm having them pretend they're robots. Isn't that hot? I see you brought your muscle. They're cute. They look like they might steal little soaps from the bathroom. I totally got some. Wouldn't be the first time you'd underestimated someone. Ah, my accountant. He's run some forensics on your business. I wanted to know how you've been doing with my money. Well, broke, busted, out, skint, ruined, strapped, flat, penniless, doesn't have two dimes to shake together, in the arts, on the nuts, wearing the hobo shoes, hobo faced, mayor of hobo town, employee of the month at the hobo hut. Stop, stop. Ho now you're just naming hobo things. You wanted 50 ways to say broke, 50's a lot. You're a robot. Leave me. We've had some difficulties. <laughs> you failed. You're full of fail, as the kids say. I know everything the kids say. I once thoroughly interrogated one that came to my door to try to sell me something. Thank you. I lent you money to start your business. I invested in you. I believed in you with my dollars. You failed my dollars. You failed me. Which is delicious. I cannot tell you 
but that has put a spring in my crooked step. I think somehow I needed to give you room to fail me, to fail in my direction, to fail on me. I don't know why I needed that so much. Dr. Barry, why did I need that? You're a monster. Well, what happens in the story when you make a deal with the monster? No movement. I don't think he's home. You know, we could just drive out of here. Are you kidding? Janine would kill us if we ditched the assignment. I don't mean ditch the assignment. I mean ditch the job, the life, everything. I mean, drive off into the sunset and leave all this crazy where it belongs, behind us. I'm not leaving Tim to ride off into your sunset. Tim might not make it out of that He's cycle. coming back. Fine. He's definitely really coming back. We'll buy him a plane ticket. Whatever. That's not important. What's important is that every second we hang around that place is another chance for us to get killed by the boss's old buddies. You don't think that if we manage to squirm out of this one, there won't just be another problem coming up behind it? I'm not leaving my friends. Then you're going to watch them die. Badly. Trust me, I've worked for guys like Boss before. It's cost me a lot of friends over the years. You listen to me, Scott, and you listen very carefully because I'm only going to say this once. I do not leave my friends behind. Ever. You think you're the only one who's ever lost someone? You do not know loss. You've worked for guys like the Boss before? Well, I've worked with guys like you before. Guys who talk big about missing all the action and then screw off the second things get bad. It's guys like you that get people killed. Because the second you need them, really need them, they're gone. Are you done? I'm done. should all be dead already. You could be. I just don't want this to end. I'm, I'm having too much fun, clearly. <laughs> so, this is what happens. This is a random selection of my beloved enemies list. Kill them. Kill them well. And soon. That's it? No. No, of course not. As you work your way through that list, I will meddle, interpose, visit, get tricksy. Consider it a stress test for your failing institution. Can you and your people succeed under adverse conditions? Can you kill and survive at the same time? And if we do, well, then you get another list. Only this one is much shorter. It has only one name on it. It's locked. This will take a minute. It wasn't even that much money. Not to you. Why is this so important? Because I'm bored. Because it's terminal. And my revenges are the one thing left that make me feel alive. Because she chose you. Two of those things are lies. Do you want to know which two? Will it matter? No. I have to talk to my people about this. It's not just my decision. Well, that's sweet. Let them feel like they have a decision. Smaller. Eights. Now I get it. Morale, team building, common cause, consent, free will, free willy. But you and I will be playing this game whether they opt in or out. In fact, we've already started. What? Third name on the list. 
called that job into your people yesterday. <laughs>